In April of 2014, I purchased this A-frame cabin. The previous owner had passed away a few years before, and it was very run down, and I knew right away I would have to tear it down to the studs and start over. The walls were covered in nicotine, and everything in it had to go. And then my journey began. Before work could begin on the cabin, the land had to be cleared of fallen timber, years of trash, and the grass was so high you, you, you couldn't hardly drive in here. And I was able to get that done in a matter of weeks with the help of some friends and got my fifth wheel moved out, got the power hooked up, and the work began. After inspecting the electrical and the plumbing in the cabin, I immediately realized that none of that would be be of any good to me and I would have to rip it all out and start over. So we got electric established at the place so I could bring in my fifth wheel and build a fence so I could bring in my dogs so I could care for them there on the property. I would live in the fifth wheel for the next two years while I started my journey on the cabin and it was not a fun one. I was just coming off of a very bad back injury and I couldn't do a lot of things but I think all the work that I'd done helped bring me back to where I could function again. As you can see, the place was full of uh, belongings to the previous tenant. Uh, most of that we brought outside, piled up, and set it on fire. There wasn't much else you could do with it. There was hardly anything in there. In fact, there was nothing in there I kept. It was just nasty. Everything was covered in, in nicotine. And as an ex-smoker, I don't want to smell that. Piles and piles of debris. Now, I probably wouldn't have burned some of the things we burnt that day. Uh, the pile was overwhelming. Uh, next thing I know, it's on fire. I don't know if that was me or someone else that was helping me. But yeah, I would have probably brought in some dumpsters and had it hauled away that way. I do know we took the metal and brought all that into recycling and uh, I didn't get the money, I had somebody do it. But my main focus after that, getting rid of all the debris, was to get my dogs out. Uh, I have quite the love for animals. I wanted my dogs out where they would be happy in a nice yard. And I believe it was about the beginning of June and I remember it well, it was about 100 degrees out. I started pounding T-posts. And I must have put 75 in the ground in one day. And I, I was like ground meat. Then I had to start building dog houses. A lot of them. And slowly but surely started getting the dog houses built. And I had four dogs at the time. And I was going, the plan was to take on more. And boy did I. So I ended up with seven dogs, and I also fostered two at a time puppies. I was in working with rescue at the time. As you can see here, that's Lily when she was a puppy. Testing out Lulu's doghouse. There's Wally. That was a very expensive doghouse. It's still sitting out there. <laughs> it needs to be tore down. There they are, checking it out. You know how dogs are curious. That's Lulu and Wally. They're both passed away now. There's Waldo and Lucy. They were a brother and sister. Uh, the first day I woke up in Arkansas, they were out in the front yard of my friend's house playing. And Lulu I found uh, at a ran the ranch I worked at. She was in the campground. I had to trick her with a cheeseburger to catch her. There again is Lily, when I first found her. She was found in the National Forest with her siblings, abandoned. She was the only tan one out of a whole litter of black ones. And there's Lucy and Wally checking out the step house that I built for the fifth wheel. Yep, that was a popular doghouse, caused many fights. Because they, they would be the first ones to see me coming out of the fifth wheel. There's Lily again, a little bit older. Still have Lily out there. She's about eight years old now. 
And this is the kennel I built to house the foster puppies. You gotta remember out here there's a major highway so I don't let dogs run loose, but they do get plenty of time and attention. That is Willie and Layla, fostered them for a year. And there's me with baby Lily, Lulu, Waldo, and Lucy. If you're eating, you may want to hit pause. A demo of the bathroom. The most disgusting thing I have ever done in my entire life. I think I had gloves all the way up to my elbows. It was totally disgusting. It didn't get like that from sitting for two years when it was abandoned. It, it had been like that for a long time and it was absolutely horrible. Uh, I gutted everything out of there. The toilet, all the plumbing, the floor, everything came out. I was so glad. I took a gallon of bleach and just poured it on the concrete and everywhere. I even ripped out the studs that were there for the bathroom. They were that bad. But it had to be done. That was the first thing I wanted installed in the house was the new bathroom. Now the demo of the rest of the cabin would begin. This is the kitchen. And to the right used to be a pantry. Uh, there's one of the several stray cats that I took in until I found them a home. I think that is, uh, you know, there's the loft as I found it. We threw all those off the balcony. That one ended up being an organ uh, that was worth quite a bit of money. There's the kitchen area. Look at all the nicotine dripping off the walls. Look at that awful, I think it was yellow, but turned green. <laughs> There's the old stairs, so steep, you couldn't get up them. If you watched my stair build, you'll see where I replaced those. Yeah, they were dangerous. They're stripping out all the insulation in the living room. Not a fun job. There was a lot of mold on them walls. There's my brother tearing out the bedroom. Look at the ceiling, how yellow it is from the nicotine. All of that got tore out. There's the kitchen. Oh, we're ripping out all the plumbing, the insulation, making repairs. There's my brother, wondering what he's got himself into. He didn't stay long after that. <laughs> I don't blame him. There is Satan. That's what I named that cat. Yep. I would be taking a nap and he would just come up and just smack me a good one right in the head. There is the dining room area and the old electrical box. I just left it in the wall and covered it over. It's still back there. That is how I got the new shower in the house. I have replaced that, obviously. That was not a fun task. And there it is with the old patio sliding doors. You see I've got them covered up with plywood. This is before the roof went on before I put a new door and windows in. There is the first panel on the new metal roof, one of the first things I'd done. That is not me. That is somebody that put it on for me. Then he never came back to finish the job. There's the old sliding uh, patio door. I hit, I hit that with a rock with the mower and broke it. Wasn't going to keep it anyway. And here we are getting the uh, metal roof on. We had to repair below, rip up a tree had fallen through and knocked off the old electrical pole. There it is finished. And the dogs were all curious watching that. Now you start seeing the cabin starting to take a better shape. There I am putting in the, the moon window. There was no light in this place at all. And that helps tremendously. There it is all installed. I was going to originally paint the cabin that green, but when the roof was on, it just it looked like one big blob of green. So I opted with a different color. And the door obviously did not stay like that. Looks like a hobbit's house. It was a good idea at the time. Thanks for watching, folks. I thought I'd put together a video of the beginnings of Dogman Homestead for people that have that are new to the channel, uh, may not know 
the condition of this place. I purchased everything here for 10500 in 2014, and I'm still working on it, as you can see. So if you want to join me on this journey, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to make another one of these videos next Sunday that takes you through the build, the renovation of the cabin, and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, give me a like, and stay tuned next week for part two of this video. Happy trails. <laughs>